In his second season, we're ready for the tip. And it's won by Danny Culp in the starting lineup. One of the Western Michigan seniors, all the seniors in the starting lineup for the Broncos as B. Artis White controls. The Bronco junior point guard. They go down for Malik McMillan, and that is a turnover, giving it to Ball State. As you see, Malik McMillan, the graduate transfer forward, also honored tonight. Western came down and turned it over, and that's something they have not done very often in the last seven ball games. In the last three games, Western Michigan's been single digits in turnovers. Three on the way from Jacobs, and that's a good start for Ball State, the best three-point shooting team in the MAC. Best three-point shooting team, and they have six guys that are shooting 35% or more from behind the arc. And Demarius Jacobs, the point guard. With the first points for the Cardinals. And here's Adrian Martin playing in his final game in a Western Michigan uniform as Culp goes down to McMillan, and he is fouled. He'll head to the free throw line for two. That was a great offensive set by the Broncos. Moved the ball side, top side, then went high-low action, big to big. And that's something the Broncos are going to have to do to try to neutralize the size that the Cardinals have. That foul went on Tyler Cochran, the transfer guard who came over from Northern Illinois. McMillan makes the first free throw. Malik McMillan averaging just under seven points per game. Came over from Valparaiso and He's been a consistent presence for this program coming over as a graduate transfer. We talked to Clayton Bates. He said, if you get a grad transfer, you have to make sure they're the right fit. Only going to be there for one year, but both him and Max Smith have fit in very well. Fit in very well, accepted their roles, and you've really seen Malik come on strong, even behind the arc for the Broncos. Here is Luke Bumbleau, great three-point shooter. Cochran weaving his way. That doesn't fall, and McMillan takes the rebound for Western Michigan. The success the Broncos have had in the seven-game stretch has been their defense has gotten pretty solid. McMillan working in the post. Can't finish. Jacobs will bring it forward for the Cardinals. Ball State averaging just under 75 per game. Myron Thomas up top. He'll take the three. That's in and out. Sparks taps it out. Peyton Sparks, the freshman center who we talked about in the open. Good chance to be the MAC freshman of the year and a nice play there. Right, we watched him warm up. He's all business when he warms up. And Coach Whit Whitford said he's great work ethic. White with the steal. Nice pass to Smith with the finish. That's the kind of enthusiasm and chemistry you want to see on senior day. Oh, a nice find right there for Sparks, and he is fouled. That foul on Max Smith, that's his first. First on Western Michigan as a team. And Peyton Sparks doing what he's done all season, getting to the free throw line. Getting to the free throw line because he has great position, and he is so physical. When you watch him warm up and you see him on the court, he does not look like a freshman. So we take a look at the starting five for Ball State. We mentioned Sparks, but also joined by Demarius Jacobs, Myron Thomas, Luke Bumbleau, and Tyler Cochran. It's been a pretty consistent group for James Whitford. As Sparks makes both free throws, but we mentioned him getting to the free throw line a lot. Second in the nation among freshmen in free throw attempts, now 190 this year. So we take a look at the starting five for Western. Now a steal for Thomas, and he has an easy two. Yeah, Biardis got lazy with the basketball and got to recognize the defense. Yeah, we mentioned earlier the seniors were starting, but some subs now as McMillan's jumper is off target. The Cardinals will bring it the other way with Bumbleau. And this is where the Cardinals are dangerous in transition. Sparks going to work. That popped out. Hastings with the rebound. The artist White coming off of 14 points in the win over Eastern Michigan on Tuesday night. Had two straight games at double figures. Step back three. 
That doesn't go, and the rebound taken by Sparks. And an offensive foul off the ball. That goes on Myron Thomas. That's his first. Second on Ball State as a team. You saw Demarius Jacobs tell him he needed to be at the top of the key because they were looking to go high-low action between he and Sparks. This didn't work out there as the offensive foul was called. McMillan will try a three and hits it. Malik McMillan with his first points of the night on senior night. And that's one of the things that you've seen that the growth from McMillan in his game is to be able to shoot that three-point shot, which is pretty special to have that come from a big guy. Check that. McMillan did make a couple of free throws, so his first field goal of the night. He's got five already. Down to Sparks. Back out. Thomas looking for three. He's got it. The best three-point three shooting team in the MAC keeps it rolling. What makes them the best three-point shooting team is when that ball goes in the post, it requires a lot of attention on double teams, and it frees up guys back out on the arc. Just under 37% on the year. Smith looking for three, and it's raining threes in Kalamazoo. The Westerns matching Ball State basket for basket. Got to try to get a stop here. That Ball State did win the first meeting between these two teams, 83-72. That's not the type of game Western Michigan wants to play. The Broncos average just over 65 points per game. Sparks on the baseline, gets his own miss. Can't finish on the putback. Norman for three. That doesn't fall. Lamar Norman coming off eight made threes against Eastern Michigan. And Coach Whitford said, they're gonna, how do you stop Lamar Norman State? Cardinals were 10 of 20 from three in that game. And they're off to a good start from beyond the arc tonight. Two for three. Western Michigan has also made a couple of threes as well. As you see JoJo Freeman, the guard, into the game. Norman down for Titus Wright. First time we've seen him get a touch tonight. Wright working in the post and doesn't get the roll. The rebound taken by Bashir Jihad as we take a look at the keys for Ball State presented by Greenleaf Trust. Well, the keys for Ball State are to have sureness with the basketball. They have 411 turnovers on the year and that's the most in the MAC. And then obviously you gotta contain Lamar Norman Jr. And he's a guard that's going to require a lot of defense. He's the max leading scorer, one of the most deadly three-point threats. And he had 35 points on Tuesday night. Norman had 22 points against Ball State in the first meeting between these two teams. Freeman out to Norman. Norman with under 10 on the shot clock. Freeman for three, he knocks it down. And the Broncos out to a four point lead as we take a look at the keys for Western Michigan. Well the keys for Western are to make sure you do the little things right to finish strong. You gotta take the charge, you gotta box out hard, you gotta win the 50-50 ball, you gotta have sureness with it because they're been noted to turn the ball over. Secondly, you gotta be aggressive on the perimeter defensively. Yeah, you're facing the number one three-point shooting team in the MAC, And they're doing that on this possession, but Bumbleo nails the rainbow three. Luke Bumbleo, just about a 37% shooter from beyond the arc, and that's the third make from three for the Cardinals. If you're Western, you gotta get a hand on the ball. Try to steer that ball handler off the top of the key. Norman pulls up, and he travels as he went in the air, came back down. That will give it to Ball State as Luke Brown, the freshman guard, checks in for the first time tonight. Now, if you're a Western Michigan fan, you may not know Luke Brown's story from Hartford City, Indiana, very small town, less than 5,000 people. But his high school games would have over 2,000 fans at them. That's because he was over a 3,000-point scorer in his high school career. 
what's really crazy about that is he averaged 35 points a game as a freshman and just over 30 as a senior. Here's Bumbleo. He pulls up and hits five straight for Luke Bumbleo. Ball State back in front. Here's Hastings. Spinning his way in the post. Under 10 on the timer for B. Artis White. Freeman looking for three more. That's too strong. And the rebound taken by the freshman Jalen Sellers. The guard out of Columbus, Georgia. Sellers pulls up. That's off target. White with the rebound. He went down. And that is not something you like to see if you're Western Michigan figures. So Western Michigan probably doesn't want this game to be as much of a track meet as that one was. Especially against a team that is trying to prepare themselves to make a run in the MAC tournament. As Freeman was fouled by Luke Brown. That's the first on Brown and the fourth on Ball State as a team. Here's Hastings. Lamar Norman coming off that 35 point game. Under 10 on the shot clock for Etchison. Cross to Freeman. Deep two is too strong. Rebound was tipped around and there was a foul. Well, you see right away what the plan is for Ball State defensively. They're really going to raise their level of defense up, challenge the perimeter. Anytime that Norman Jr. gets the ball, there's going to be a double team, maybe a trap off the ball screen. And that foul on Jalen Sellers, his first. In for Norman. Mar Norman still without a point tonight. The Max leading scorer coming into this game. That three doesn't fall from Hastings. And Bumbleo will bring it ahead for the Cardinals. Good ball movement. Cochran for Brown on the curl. He nails it. Got a chance to see a. Just a great possession, unselfish. Multiple guys could have shot the ball right there. And that's the shooting stroke that earned him over 3,000 high school points. Fourth in Indiana State history, but here's another Indiana kid, Gus Etchison. He didn't have a bad high school career himself. Titus right down low with the hook. And I think that's where Western's gonna find their success. They've gotta get the ball inside. Doesn't mean that the post has to shoot it, but they do draw attention. Two-point game, just over 10 minutes left in this first half. Sellers with the baseline drive, plus the foul. That was a great drive, got parallel on that power-up. When you turn parallel, you protect the basketball, and usually you draw an and one opportunity. That foul on JoJo Freeman, that's his first. So an opportunity for a three-point play for Jalen Sellers. Freshman out of Columbus, Georgia, originally. When we talked to James Whitford, he mentioned that Sellers' effort has been tremendous. Him and Peyton Sparks, Coach Whitford has been extremely impressed with the way they've come in as freshmen. And just think what kind of leadership you're gonna get out of those guys in that locker room, you know, on the, on the away game travels. They're gonna be a really, really good ball club in a couple years. Marius Jacobs comes back on. That's the exciting thing for Ball State. They did clinch a trip to the MAC tournament but this team will only get better over the next few years. Norman tries a three. That doesn't go. Still nothing going for Lamar Norman tonight. Cochran, an air ball there, and Etchison with the rebound. Tried to go down low there for Hastings, but it goes off his hand out of bounds. Well, Gus did something that all coaches preach. You never throw a jump pass. You jump in the air, your teammates think that you're shooting it, and they take their eye off the ball. The 
Great screening action by Ball State. Cutters are coming off shoulders and screeners are getting a piece of the defender. Brown corner three. That hits the side of the rim and the rebound taken by Thomas. So an offensive rebound for the Cardinals. They did out rebound Western Michigan by 10 in the first meeting. Good pass out to Jacobs. Too much on it, but an offensive rebound on it, but an offensive rebound for Sparks, setting up another opportunity for the Cardinals. Another opportunity, and Sparks got that rebound squished between two Bronco defenders, and they weren't just touching him, they were hanging on him. Everybody in the in the Mac talks about how aggressive and how strong Sparks is, and you have a chance to see it tonight. That foul went on Malik McMillan, his first. Brown, mid-range jumper, got it. Luke Brown with five points about midway through this first half. You see Luke Brown, he moves very well without the basketball, knows that he's got to create space to get clean catches. Hastings with a two-handed slam. Nice pass there from McMillan. And Western went back to what works, works in the playbook, that high-low action between post player to post player. And a foul will give it back to Western Michigan. That going on Peyton Sparks, his first. Lamar Norman without a point so far. How do the Broncos get him going? Well, it's what Ball State's doing. They are hedging, staying long on a ball screen. Sometimes they're trapping it. They're making sure there's someone in his face the entire possession. McMillan with the mid-range jumper. And that open shot was set up by the attention to Norman. Right, and that's smart by Norman as he stayed up at the top of the key and didn't try to cut down toward, toward the ball or try to get it back. Nice drive on the other end to Marius Jacobs. And a lead back to five for Ball State. And Coach Whitford said, you stop Lamar by making him work extremely hard, make all of his shot selections difficult. Max Smith for Norman. This three doesn't fall, so still nothing for Lamar Norman Jr. Brown fakes the deep three. Nice pass out to Thomas. They swing it around for Jacobs into the corner, Cochran. But now Etchison tips it away. He's into the open floor and draws. Gonna have an and one. And there was contact as he gathered himself to jump, so. Thomas tried the bounce pass to Sparks. It goes out of bounds. Ball State leads the MAC in turnovers per game. And coach, we were talking during the break. You mentioned that you've seen most of the turnovers come on the inside. Right, as they try to attack going to the basket, and they, they might lose it or pitch it to the perimeter, it gets deflected. Or sometimes when the ball goes in the post on the pass back out, when it's perimeter to perimeter player, they might be one of the best passing teams in the MAC. Yeah, we've seen some nice ball movement tonight on the outside from the Cardinals. McMillan working hard against Sparks. Had his shot affected, out of bounds. It will stay with the Broncos with 10 on the shot clock. And the ball state is so aggressive on, on the, the ball handler. And when that ball goes in the post, there's a double team or a triple team. In that case right there, Malik was attacking off the dribble and there was a triple team. Martin in for Norman, who's still scoreless tonight. Max Smith, a deep three. That doesn't go. Foul on the floor. This goes on Myron Thomas. He doesn't like the call. He's picked up two fouls. Yeah, Myron doesn't like the call. He was battling Hastings inside, and Hastings had position. And you know, Hastings, one of the best rebounders in the, in the MAC, and he knows how to use his body to clear people out. That puts Western Michigan into the bonus. One and one here for Marquise Hastings. Redshirt sophomore forward who transferred from Butler. Averaging just under nine rebounds per game. Missed the free throw, gets his own miss, but he traveled with it. Well, you're seeing the turnover bugs start to, to bite Western and their turnovers that really aren't forced. 
Hastings got his own missed shot. Should have went right up right then over top. Would have probably been shooting an and one. Seven turnovers already for Western Michigan. They only had five total against Eastern Michigan. Mickey Pearson Jr. came on the floor for the first time for Ball State. Sparks will just take the jumper, but it popped out. Here comes Norman. McMillan, nice move and the land. That was a great drop step. Malik hooked him with his leg and you teach that move all the time. Put the dribble behind you before you move your foot. Nine points for Malik McMillan. Sellers for three, too much on it. Sparks with the offensive rebound. They go back down low for Sparks. Going to work against Hastings. Gets his own miss. Then had it poked away by Martin. Here come the Broncos in transition. And Norman had it blocked. Well, that's a great job by Western. Force a bad shot by Sparks and then get off to the races. Get in transition and try to get to the basket. Demarius Jacobs got a hand on it, so Western Michigan will inbound from the baseline. Nice hustle by Jacobs, because that was going to be easy, too. Norman fakes, now will take the three and knocks it down, his first points of the night. And that's his 100th made three of the season. One of the max best three-point shooters, the leading scorer. You knew it was just a matter of time before he put one in the basket. As Pearson misses short there, here come the Broncos once again. Martin for Norman, another one, not this time. So Norman one for six thus far. Jacobs out to Bumbleo, corner three. That's in and out. Western's got to realize right now that Ball State's struggling a little bit behind the arc. Take your time, use the shot clock, use that high-low action that has been successful. And yeah, both teams got off to a hot start shooting from three, but Ball State 0 for their last five overall from the field. McMillan left it way short. Instead, there'll be seven on the shot clock. Norman, corner three. That hits the side of the rim. Martin with the offensive rebound. Coach Bates wants the Broncos to run offense. Shot clock under 10 for Norman. Drives the right side. Corner three from Martin. He knocks it down. It's a great shot by Adrian. Has the best field goal percentage from three-point land for the Broncos. And his high school's all-time leading three-point shooter. 40% on the season, and he has his first points on senior night, his final game as a Western Michigan Bronco. Cochran out for Bumbleo. Sellers for three. Nice response from the freshman. Another unselfish play by Bumbleo. He could have shot that himself, drew the attention, and made one extra pass. Both teams have made five threes, had a cold stretch there. Middle part of this first half. After both started hot from outside. Smith, shot clock winding down. He drives the right side, puts it off the glass and in. A good body control by Mack. Didn't panic, didn't try to force up a floater right there, try to finish at the rim. Bumbleo for Jacobs. Usually brings, you know, a better player out, knowing that what's your legacy going to be? What are they, they going to say about you when you played your last game at home? Jacobs missed the second free throw. Myron Thomas with the offensive rebound. Cochran saved it. And Jacobs able to hold on. And now a shot clock issue. So more of the positive impact of senior night in your experience, generally it, it gives players a little bit of that boost. And the younger players, they understand that because as a coach, you, you let them know this is going to be you someday. And you want to win for your, the seniors, send them out 
a good way. And then when you're a senior, you want the underclassmen to do the same for you, correct? Brown inbounds for Bumbleo. Shot clock down to five. Bumbleo tried to get it to Sparks. Went off the backboard, loose on the floor, battle for it. Bentham going into the MAC tournament and give themselves a chance to spring a couple upsets. As a coach, you don't ever want to coach a team just to be happy to be there. You want to do something, make some noise while you're there. Freeman down for right. Shot clock down to eight. Wright spinning his way against Sparks and the finger roll falls. That was a great job by Titus. And what the Broncos got to realize is when they pass the ball to Titus, he's not been drawing double teams. So you can't stay out on the perimeter. You got to cut to the basket. The old fashioned give and go. Cochran, the Northern Illinois transfer on the outside, shot clock under 10. Thomas for Sparks and a foul as Titus Wright made some contact there with Sparks. That's going to be a foul all day long. Sparks covered up Wright's feet, had great post up. If you cover up the feet, you're going to win that battle in the post. And that's the thing that Western can't do is they can't let him bury himself that close to the basket. Marius Jacobs checks back in for the Cardinals. Myron Thomas for three. He got it. We're tied at 31. Eight points for Myron Thomas. Back and forth first half. Max Smith and another whistle. Foul on the floor. Max Smith's doing a nice job of seeing the floor because he realizes that everybody is spread out so much, the defense is elevated so high, that if you cut to the basket when your defender's past the read line, meaning the three-point line, you have a chance to score a layup, or in his case, shoot a free throw. One and one here for Smith, and he sinks the first. Max Smith, the graduate transfer who was honored tonight, came over from Eastern Illinois, scored over 1,500 points in his college career, and he's been a nice addition to this Western Michigan program. This is the second, though, and Sparks with the rebound. Thomas, top of the key three. That doesn't go. Out of bounds. Last touch by Western Michigan. There may be a discussion here. They'll say Western Michigan basketball. Thomas had gotten hit in the face the previous possession, and I think there might be a little bit of blood, but I think they had an effect on the shot. Take a look here. Oh, that's a tough one. I think the officials thought that Sparks might have got a finger on it. That's what you want if there's no double team. Norman with the runner off the glass and in. That was great vision. He was going to go towards Titus to use him as a screen and went away, got the ball, and was able to tack downhill. Jacobs in the lane, takes some contact, and he'll head to the free throw line for two. And that foul goes on Titus, but really not his fault. It was the backside low post defender did not cover down should have been there by the restricted area to take the charge. That's the second foul on right as we take another look. You see that foul that wasn't, shouldn't have been Titus, that should have been Jojo Freeman or Lamar Norman rotating over. Jacobs, an 83% free throw shooter. Transferred to Ball State from St. Louis. Was a part of a team that made the 2019 NCAA tournament. Now the A-10, a very strong conference. Lamar Norman for Western Michigan, of course, came over from Duquesne, also in that conference. 
Second free throw doesn't go from Jacobs. But he's the kind of player that can help when you're trying to get to that tournament run. He has got that experience playing in March. Help them out in Cleveland next week. McMillan facing a double team. Out to Norman. Norman step back three. That doesn't go. And a foul. This will go on McMillan. So what you saw right there is the, the two different styles of playing defense. When Titus had the ball, there was no double team. McMillan got the ball because he can score from anywhere on that on the floor, especially at short corner, double team. And it sends Ball State back to the free throw line with Jacobs. Let's get another look at James Whitford. Just hoping that this team can gain some momentum heading into that MAC tournament. As Jacobs makes the first free throw right now. The sixth seed, they'd be matched up with Ohio. And the Bobcats have slipped a little bit. They've lost their last two games. But a very daunting task is, of course, last year they won a game in the NCAA tournament. You know, college basketball is not a sprint. It's a marathon. You have runs. And you know, anybody can beat anybody, especially when you have the, the whole rescheduling because of COVID. And next thing you know, you're playing, you know, seven games in, you know, 14, 15 days. Could be anybody's tournament in Cleveland next week. Ten seconds left in this first half. We're tied at 34. Norman for McMillan. Now with five seconds. McMillan pulls up. Can't hit. And it's taken by Jacobs. Box out. Ball State will start with possession in this second half. Jacobs, the point guard, setting things up. Cochran guarded tightly by Max Smith. Shot clock winding down under 10. Thomas back beyond the three-point line. Tried to put up a fallaway jumper, but he's whistled for the travel before that. That was a great defensive effort by the Broncos. As the clock was winding down, Thomas tried to take McMillan out to see if he could beat him off the dribble, and credit McMillan for moving his feet and funneling him to a side. How has Western Michigan's defense improved in this second half? Well, I think what's, what's happened is you gotta make sure that you are doing those things that other people won't, jamming cutters, getting good position, driving guys off the post so they don't get post-ups. Turnover there for the Broncos offensively. Here's Thomas. Nice pass to Sparks, but he couldn't handle it. Now will look to back his way in against McMillan, and he gets it off the backboard and in. Good start to the second half for Peyton Sparks after he had just one point in the first 20. And Sparks went to his go-to move, that real quick baseline spin. So ball stayed ahead. They tried to feed McMillan. Sparks with the steal. Up ahead looking for Cochran. Martin got a hand on it. It will stay with Ball State. And I love what Sparks just did right there. Freshmen don't usually do that. He got ball side high, tipped the ball, went and got it, and then tried to kick it up the floor for fast break. We have been impressed by not just the skill of Peyton Sparks, but his awareness as a freshman. Thomas fakes, now puts it up. Draw some contact, he'll head to the line for two. We talked about this earlier. When you get here as early as we do and you get a chance to watch players go through their routine, you and I both saw he was all business. And it wasn't a, an act like you can see it. It's carried over into the game. Myron Thomas at the free throw line for two. But James Whitford told us when we talked to him before this game that with Peyton Sparks, it wasn't something where he had to teach him, you're a freshman, this is how you practice, this is how you play. He came in and was ready to go from day one. And I love he said, when did you know he was going to be really good? We knew in the summertime. <laughs> before <laughs> That's he, always a good sign. <laughs> before he ever put the uniform on. Norman, nice pass to Smith, but the three hits the side of the rim. Battle for the rebound, and Jacobs racing the other way. Jacobs can't finish might have been some contact there from Norman they play on now Norman step back three way off target and yeah, not a good shot by Norman 
I think he's a little frustrated not getting good looks, but you got your teammates are putting the ball in the basket. Keep finding them. They go down low for Sparks. Skip pass across for Thomas. His three doesn't fall, and Norman with the rebound for the Broncos. Just two total points in the second half. Coming off the basket from Peyton Sparks for Ball State. McMillan dribbles it off his foot out of bounds. Uh, actually was last touched by Ball State as Luke Brown, Jalen Sellers both come on the floor for the Cardinals. As Adrian was bringing that ball across the timeline, Coach Bates was trying to set up a post entry to McMillan. If they can get Sparks in foul trouble, that's to their benefit. And a foul on Western Michigan going on McMillan. McMillan got called for a push off right there with the forearm, but I think that Sparks had a hold of his arm. Titus Wright back into the game for the Broncos as McMillan has picked up three fouls. Titus has played well for the Broncos. He's two of three from the floor. Sparks back to the basket. The hook shot can't get the bounce. Tap the put back and the rebound taken by Hastings. Hastings against Thomas. He gets it to go and the foul. Great body control by Hastings. Was going to shoot it a little bit earlier, but kind of held on to it for a second, waiting for that contact. Marquise Hastings with four points, also nine rebounds. You saw that body control right there and actually used the backboard to help him so he didn't get his shot blocked. Western Michigan back in front by one, and that's a good sign for Western Michigan. B. Artis White back on the floor after we saw him grabbing his knee a little bit in the first half. It really hasn't been 100% all season. Of course, last year was all Mac honorable mention. Sparks driving down the lane and a whistle and a foul on Titus Wright. That was a great little set. Ran both guards through, created an alley for Sparks to go right to the basket. If you were a Bronco and you came over to help in the drive, he would have pitched it out for a three-point shot. How scary can Peyton Sparks be if he can consistently catch in the high post and drive like that? Well, he's got great length. He's 6'9". He's a lefty. He can get to the basket. Here's the crazy thing, too. He's only a freshman. Look at his physique now, which is pretty good. What's it going to look like when he's a senior? Well, not only that, going into his freshman year, he actually lost 38 pounds going into the season. So he got himself into shape, and it's been a huge part of the reason he's had so much success this year as a true freshman. And you know Ball State does it. We, we preach it to all of our athletes, the weight room, the weight room, the weight room. Smith with a nice pass to Hastings. He lost it, though. Now Bumbleo. Dishes back for Thomas. Out to Brown. He fakes. Now takes the mid-range jumper. Popped out. Right. Ahead for Smith. Extra pass. Hastings. What a sequence from Western Michigan. Unselfish play. Matt could have shot the ball. Wright could have shot the ball. That's how you're going to win this ball game is being unselfish. Thomas backing in against Hastings. Under 10 on the shot clock for Bumbleo. Now he drives. What a dish to Sparks and the finish. Yeah, that's, that's not bad company. Good chance for Sparks to be the Mac freshman of the year this season on this very young Ball State team. As Titus Wright went down, was hoping to get a call. He's still on the floor. Norman put it up. That's not fun. No, that was immediate, immediately went down to the floor. And that puts Malik McMillan with three fouls on the floor with a lot of time left. Hastings with the steal for the Broncos. So McMillan will have to play carefully 
with those three fouls and Wright potentially injured. Smith on the baseline, nice pass down to Hastings. He was blocked but fouled. That's a great job by Western, attacking the baseline and when you see your teammate drive low and you're high, you gotta dive. And credit Lamar Norman Jr. He ran out of there because he saw there was an opportunity to score from that left short corner. Two free throws for Marquise Hastings. Hastings, another strong night on the boards. Nine rebounds. He ranks third in the MAC with just under nine per game. And he's just about averaging a double double. And a lot of times he doesn't make a lot of noise. He just does all the dirty work. We've called him the junkyard dog a couple times this season because does all the things that maybe nobody else wants to do and doesn't expect the credit. Yeah, when you're six seven and you're averaging almost nine rebounds a game, that's all about effort. Marquise Hastings has done that all season long. Sellers for three. He got it. That was good patience by Ball State. Didn't force it, got the shot they wanted. Nine points for Jalen Sellers and Ball State back in front. White with the nice crossover, but then he had it poked away. Cochran the other way for the Cardinals. Ball State looking to push. Now Cochran lost it. White saved it somehow for Lamar Norman. Now Smith for three. Yes! Smith for three. Set up by Biardis. He turned the ball over. Could have you know, pouted about it, hustled down, and got the ball. Saved the day right there. 11 points for Max Smith. Now it's stolen. McMillan for Hastings. McMillan corner three. In and out, offensive rebound by Hastings. There was a foul before the putback attempt. And it was basically Hastings one on four in the paint. A little quick on the shot by Western. Second foul on Jalen Sellers as Tyler Cochran heads to the bench. Myron Thomas back onto the floor for the Cardinals. Norman in the corner. Shot clock under 10. McMillan for three. That doesn't go, and the rebound taken by Jacobs. Bumbleo, nice pass to Sparks. Besides being lightning quick and having a great three-point shot, Bumbleo is an excellent passer, especially off the penetration to the post. Sparks with nine and nine now, flirting with a double-double. Smith looking for three more. He's got him! Well, if Matt gets his feet set, he has such a nice follow through. That gooseneck that we caught at the top, hard wrist. 14 points for Max Smith. Three made threes. Myron Thomas and the Cardinals look to respond, and Peyton Sparks is fouled by McMillan. That's his fourth. And Titus Wright will have to check back in after he took that hard contact earlier in the second half. McMillan goes to the bench with four, and he's got to be thinking, there's no way that kid's a freshman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is uh, not a fun matchup, and that's been the case all season long. Peyton Sparks, there's a reason he leads the MAC in free throw attempts. He's been getting fouled all year. Bumbleo for three. The rainbow shot didn't go. The artist White will settle it down. You keep possession for Western. You, get, you have the lead, so you got to play like it. And White is fouled. 
working with at both ends of the floor. Whoever coaches the post players for Ball State does a tremendous job. Because Western has tried to get the ball in the post and they play that ball side high, hand across the body, and sometimes they dead front. So you can't you can't get it in the post. There's help side defense, so you can't lob it in there. And at the other end, offensively, they know how to use their body, cover up feet, and spin baseline to finish and strong. It's impressive too with, you know, we've mentioned the talent of Sparks, but just his awareness as a freshman, you do have to give a lot of credit to this Ball State coaching staff. Shot clock under 10, Freeman tried to get it down to right, it's stolen away, then Bumpalo had it poked from behind by Martin. White, good find. 44.4% from the floor and 33% from three point range right now in the second half. Pretty evenly matched game. Ball State won the first meeting between these two teams, 83-72 back on January 29th. Cardinals now in a four-point hole. Sparks with his back to the basket. Thomas faked the three, drove down the lane. And a foul on Marquise Hastings. Thomas is a mismatch problem because he gets behind the three-point line. His first step is lightning quick. So if you're a, you're a four or a five, and you got to go out and guard him. He's going to beat you off the dribble as he hunts the paint. Now James Whitford was talking about how important Myron Thomas has been this season, having Thomas and Bumbleo. They were really the only two major contributors that returned for this Ball State team. And that's an asset because you could you have a whole bunch of new guys coming in and say hey this is what you have to do if you want to be in that role and both of those two thomas and bumbleo averaging over 11 points per game this year white out to freeman his three is good you're getting some great perimeter play by freeman and max smith largest lead of the night for western michigan and a foul on White. And I've noticed the Cardinals trying to actually test Biardis. Is he quick enough to guard us as we sprint off screens and change sides of the floor? That's the first foul on White, the sixth on Western Michigan as a team in the second half. Thomas hands off for Brown. Thomas finds Sparks for the two-handed slam. Spark saw a great job by that freshman posting up inside. Look how low he got. He almost to the rim. Just had to turn around and finish. He's not going to miss from there too often. 11 points, nine rebounds for Peyton Sparks. Western Michigan looking to respond. Shot clock down to 10 for White. The floater, that swirls out, and the rebound taken by Thomas. Brown in transition. Gives back for Thomas. Now Sparks going to work against Hastings. Western Michigan was hoping for a double dribble there. Thomas, skip pass. That three short from Jacobs, and White with the rebound. Ten minutes to go, a three-point game in the regular season finale. Western's had success with the high-low, post-to-post. Martin at the top of the key. He takes the three. That doesn't go. Thomas takes the rebound for the Cardinals. Nice pass ahead to Bumbleo. That three doesn't go, though. That last possession, Western just settled for something versus taking what they wanted. So if they don't double, it's one-on-one -on -one in the post. And anytime Peyton Sparks is one-on-one -on -one in the post, that's usually a mismatch, although he's off the floor now. Bashir Jihad came on for the Cardinals. Nice pass from White to right. Waiting for a shot. Back out to White for three. That's off the back iron. Jacobs with the rebound.
Byron Thomas going to work, but he has it stolen by Wright. That was great help by, by Titus because it was, it was going to be a dunk. It was Thomas on Mac Smith. There's a lot of length that uh, Mac was giving up. White down the right side of the lane gets it to go as he goes down to the floor. Let me tell players, if you can get to the block, shoot it. You're gonna either gonna get fouled or you're gonna score. First points for Beardis White. Now this pass goes out of bounds near us on press row. It was last touched by Western Michigan. So Ball State will inbound near their own bench. As you see, Western Michigan head coach Clayton Bates hoping to close out his second season on a high note. Last couple times down, Ball State's been out of sync a little bit. Thomas down for Jihad, and he traveled. That's two possessions in a row where Titus has made a great defensive effort. Time before that was deflection and hunt the ball down. That time right there was beat him to a spot. He steps on your feet, he travels. Who do the Broncos look to offensively here? I think you try to get downhill. So any guard that can get to the basket, or if you can go inside to a big. Here's Norman for Freeman. His three's blocked by Jacobs, and then a foul on Freeman. And that's not the shot you want. You're contested, and you had about 14 seconds still on the shot clock. You could tell by Coach Bates' facial expressions that's not what he wanted. And that now sends Ball State to the free throw line as they are in the bonus. One and one for Jalen Sellers. And with this much time on the clock, that lets them creep back in. And Sellers sinks the first free throw. Jalen Sellers, a two-time All-State player at Carver Montgomery High School. He played his high school ball, Montgomery, Alabama, originally from the state of Georgia, as he sinks both at the charity stripe. And from the floor, he's a great shooter, 56% from the floor. That's really solid, especially for a freshman. White had his pass blocked. And now here comes Sellers. Sellers high flying. What a great effort defensively and then take it to the basket strong. Back to a one point game. Freeman fakes extra pass from White into the corner. Norman sinks the three. And that's the shot you want. The time before, Josiah got a shot blocked. Now we make that one extra pass for Norman. Norman with his first points of the second half. He has eight. Shot clock under 10 for Bumbleo. Takes the three. Off the back iron. Keep in mind as this game winds down, don't want to foul Jacobs. He's an 83% free throw shooter. Don't be surprised if they go to him to help seal the deal. And on the other side for Western Michigan, Lamar Norman, nearly an 80% free throw shooter. So he's the player Ball State will want to avoid fouling. White, that doesn't go from in close. Sparks went down, he's back on his feet. And then Max Smith tips it out of bounds. Not the shot that Beardis wanted. He could have jump stopped, faked it, spun back the other way. We've seen him do it in games last year. Brown looking for a pass. Sparks back to the basket. Nice pass to Sellers. Two things set that up. One was the spacing, and the second was the cutting. Hard cuts versus jogging the cuts. And they were setting their man up. Freshman to freshman, Sparks to Sellers. Hastings took some contact, but finished. 
Back to a three-point lead for the Broncos. Cochran working against Max Smith. Spins the reverse lay-in. What a move by Tyler Cochran. Well, that was a great move, and his teammates had an idea that was coming because nobody cut toward the basket. They left him alone, let him use all that lane. Back to a one-point game. Western Michigan's largest lead is five. Ball State's largest lead is seven. Hastings tried to get it to Smith, and he is fouled by Luke Brown. Both teams trying to make sure they have to take care of the ball. You see more fake a pass, make a pass. Players don't have their blinker on with the balls above their head. Everybody knows you're passing. That's the second foul on Brown, sixth on Ball State as a team. In for Norman, quick double team. Now Smith, Hastings going to work against Cochran. And he's fouled. That is the seventh on Ball State. So Marquise Hastings will head to the free throw line. That was a great job by Western, realizing that Hastings had a mismatch, knowing that Cochran playing behind Hastings was going to be a tough defend. Double-double tonight for Marquise Hastings. 13 points, 11 rebounds. But he misses the front end of the one and one. Bumbleo comes away with the rebound, a chance for Ball State to reclaim the lead. Bumbleo tried to get it out to Brown, it's stolen by Smith. Smith ahead for Hastings, doesn't get to go, but the putback is there for Smith and he's got 16. A nice break by the Broncos. Hunt the paint, run the floor. Cochran. Sellers in the corner. Tyler Cochran drives. That doesn't go. Ball State wanted a foul. They don't get it. White. Hastings able to save it. And the Broncos will reset with Norman. Shot clock under 10. Norman down the right side of the lane. Boy, great job by Norman Jr. Not using the ball screen. High glass shot. Bounce back second half for Norman, the leading scorer in the MAC heading into this game. Ball State with possession. The Cardinals trailing by five coming out of this timeout. Thomas for three. Doesn't quite get the bounce, but an offensive rebound. Sellers to Sparks. Sellers and Sparks, two guys that Coach man. Whitford said have a great work ethic. They have no quit. So back to a three-point game. Western Michigan with possession. Norman down to McMillan, trying to find his shot. And it's just kind of an awkward angle there right under the basket. Under the basket, below the backboard, no official's going to call that as a foul. And now Demarius Jacobs with the drive to make it a one-point game. Let's go. Hey. You got Sellers hounding Norman Jr. wherever he goes. Here is Norman. Out to White, corner three. Too much on it, and the rebound taken by Thomas. Ball State with a chance to take the lead. What a response out of that timeout. It's been a 4-0 run. Jacobs finds his shot and gets the bounce. Four straight for Demarius Jacobs to give the Cardinals the lead. Western's getting too many paint touches. Too many guys are getting in close range for high percentage shots. Two minutes to play, Western Michigan trailing by one. White down the lane, he is fouled. Ball State got caught chasing a post defender. 
Western leaked one out, weak side, and that created that alley on the left side for Viardis. Foul on Jacobs, that is his fourth. Two free throws for Viardis White in a one-point game with under two minutes to go. White misses the first, 79% free throw shooter on the season. As Adrian Martin will check back in, Western Michigan wants his defense and three-point shooting on the floor. Oh, White misses both. We said one of the keys to the game for Western, do the little things right here. You gotta win this possession. Jacobs for Thomas. They go to Sparks, out to Bumbleo, corner three. That pops out, McMillan with the rebound. Under 90 seconds to play, one point game. This is just how you want to wrap up the regular season with a game like this. Norman into traffic and an offensive foul. Myron Thomas takes the charge. Great effort. Just a great effort by Lenar, Lamar Norman Jr. to go to the basket, but you got a big standing there waiting for you. Not gonna make it easy. Second foul on Norman. It's been a 6-0 run for Ball State coming out of that timeout, a two and a half minute scoring drought for Western Michigan. Sparks against McMillan, gets to the basket. Can't finish though. Under a minute to play. Well, there was quite a bit of contact, according to Coach Whitford. They continue to play on. McMillan. White on the outside. Oh, does he get it to go? No. That somehow didn't go in. It rolled all the way around the cylinder. And the Cardinals can kill some clock. About an eight second difference between the game clock and shot clock. Western Michigan in need of a stop. Western's got to sit down, stay in their stance. Any 50-50 ball, you got to win it. See if you can deflect the pass by playing in the gap. Jacobs winds down the clock. Bumbleo, a deep three. Off the back iron, McMillan with the rebound. Under 10 seconds to go. The Broncos run it up the floor. Norman with five seconds. Norman steps back. Oh, it doesn't go for the win. And